Yo, what's going on guys? How is it going? It's Tyler here and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you another ramen taste test. Uh, what I usually like to do on Wednesdays is do a ramen taste test. Usually try to keep it on the spicy side. So if you're new, welcome. I am going to be doing that today. Um, I am Tyler again and today without further ado, I'll just go ahead and introduce what we are going to be trying. Now it's another one from the uh, the Nongshim um, Neoguri uh, brand, I guess you could say. I've done some uh, some of these in the past with the different flavors and whatnot. Uh, but today I have the spicy seafood. Uh, they are stir-fried noodles. Uh, we got the uh, neogiri up there. We got the nongshim up there. We got the spicy uh, seafood down here. Um, now it says... Um, that's pretty much all it says, actually. Uh, it says stir-fried noodles with seasoning mix, spicy seafood flavor, um, neoguri, and the nongshim. So that's pretty much all that it gives uh, there. Um, now it is a, uh, some of the ramens come in like a square shape. This one is a round shape. So if you want to, if you have like a round bowl or something like that, you can just kind of set it down in it um, and you're good to go. Or a pot, you know, anything like that. Most pots are round, so uh, they give you that, that ability there. Uh, so they do come in uh, a big... It, it's actually a pretty decent size uh, circle, um, circular. So I have already gotten it whipped up. Um, I have been trying to let it cool down just a little bit because uh, most of the time is when I do these taste tests, I get it you know straight like as soon as it's done and just jump right into it so it's piping hot uh, so a lot of the times I do burn my tongue but this time I was trying to let it simmer down a bit uh, this is the bowl of noodles here as you see it does look pretty spicy uh, anything with that orange red flavor you could just expect it to just stain your insides really uh, but yeah it is uh, the spicy seafood now within these taste tests you guys have seen me do a lot of like beef and chicken and this and that whatever and just regular spiciness um whenever it gets into like the seafoods and all of that the shrimps and i've always like steered away from those now just the regular shrimp ramen i am not a fan i do not care for it uh i've eaten it um and it's also something about like that pink packaging it, the, the pink of the like the faded pink of the the shrimp color packaging uh, for like the regular ramen for shrimp flavored ramen, I don't know. It just just the color of the packaging turns me away. So, um, so I've always steered away from the seafood, but today I do have uh, I got a big bulk of of ramen and um, the spicy seafood. Uh, I'm gonna be trying it out. It's got a very distinct smell to it, so um, it, I don't know. I, my palate isn't jumping for it currently, but. I am excited to see what it does taste like. Again, these are the stir-fried noodles, so these are pretty, um, pretty thick. Um, but uh, they, it looks like, seems like they boil down pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get our first bite here, get it all situated, cooled down a bit. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so we definitely want to hop into it. Okay. Now I may have heated them up. I had them in the water too long. Because they're a little gooey. The noodles. Um, or maybe I didn't, you know, heat them enough. Um, but yeah, that flavor is... I wouldn't say it's, like, fantastic. Because, again, it's like out of my comfort zone it's not something i'm used to um there is like in the states there's a restaurant um there's some western sizzlings but there's also like shoney's this kind of smells like the, like the smell of a western sizzling what a western sizzling would smell like it's not bad though it's not a bad flavor um the spice, the spice is just barely there. It's 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 a good mixture of it. Like with this flavor, the subtleness of the spice brings all of it in. Um, so it, it it definitely ties in what what is going for here. Now, this does come with uh, the the flavor packet 
it comes with an oil packet and then it comes with a flakes packet um, I didn't put the flakes in I did put the oil in which um, it, it does you can you can definitely tell the difference between just having a seasoning packet and also having the oil the oil definitely it gives those noodles like like the authentic taste like when you go to I wouldn't say authentic I haven't had authentic when you go to uh, just like a, an Asian American restaurant, I'd say like you get uh, like lo mein or something like that, chow mein or something like that. Uh, the really oily noodle. This is whenever you when you add the oil, abracadabra. Who would have thought? Um, it gives that same consistency uh, as you would like in a in a restaurant. So it's definitely uh, enjoyable. Again, it isn't my go-to flavor. Um, I do love my chickens. I do love my beefs. Uh, but I wouldn't say, I mean, I wouldn't jump for it. I wouldn't go down the shelf and be like, okay, I'm getting this pack, and then go home and make it. I would definitely grab for the chicken, spicy chicken, way quicker. I would definitely go for the you know, spicy beef way quicker. But um, it's a full flavor. It's very full. Um, definitely a palate uh consumer <laughs> uh you definitely you take that first bite it's the you, you taste it you taste it all of it again i don't know if it's just the way that i cooked them or if um you know maybe these are older i don't know uh but you know the noodles are still a little they're not it, it, like they're gooey. Like it, it, they're not just melting in my mouth. But no, it's 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 a very good flavor. A very good flavor. Um, again, that spice completely ties everything in. Oh yeah. And so again, it's not one I would go up to the shelf and pull down and say, "Yep, this is the one I'm getting." Um, but just for the sake of the taste test, uh, that's that's where I ended up. But on a scale, if I was going to scale it, just in a, on a scale of 1 to 10 to your instant ramens, um, I try to keep it reasonable, but I don't want to just throw out 10s and throw out 9s and this and that. No, uh, just considering the flavor, um, the size of the noodles, the serving size of it, um, with it you know, giving you the flavor packet, the oil, and the flakes... Um, and then again, just off of the flavor itself, just the seafood flavor alone, um, I would probably have to give it about a 7-3. With the spice and everything involved, uh, with the oil involved, with the entire meal itself, I would, I would give it about a 7-4. 7-4 overall. some of that agua but yeah about seven four uh overall tops um you'll see me a lot of times uh putting the chickens and the beefs and the eights and the nines and we haven't had a 10 yet but we're still waiting for that day but overall i would say about seven four um the spice all together again a full flavor definitely hits that palate um, it's it's not bad. It's very enjoyable. Again, the serving size is great. So, uh, seven four seven four is what I'm giving the uh, Neoguri um, Nongshim uh, spicy seafood stir fried noodles. Stir fried noodles. No stir fried noodles. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. That it's 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 good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it any time, any way entertaining or, or informational, uh, go ahead, hit that like button. In the comments down below, what is your favorite uh, ramen brand? What is the brand that you like? Um, and then along with that brand, what is the favorite flavor of yourself? Um, but yeah, this was this was 7-4. Uh, again, I am still on the beef and chicken train, so um, seafood doesn't doesn't get the high ratings today. But uh, again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hit that bell notification button just so you're notified every single time I post a video. I do try to post every single day. So with that being said, again, guys, this was Tyler. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.
Peace.